Hey everyone, I'm Luke from Wild Pro, and today I'm here with part two of the setup series where we're going to talk about setting up aluminum spool gun. The MiG 210 LCD is a brand new release from Wild Pro, and it comes with an advanced spool gun menu. Setting up and running aluminum spool gun has never been easier, regardless if you're a beginner or an advanced welder. To get started setting up the spool gun, first locate your ground clamp. When it comes to running aluminum spool gun, we run on DC electrode positive polarity. Therefore, we want to connect our ground clamp to the negative terminal on the front of the MiG-210 LCD. Go ahead and insert the DINS connector into the negative terminal. Rotate clockwise about 90 degrees. This will ensure a secure connection. Go ahead and connect your ground clamp to your workpiece. Make sure it's clean and you get a good connection. Grounding is one of the most important things when it comes to any welding process. Next, go ahead and locate your spool gun. For now, we're going to go ahead and set the spool gun assembly down, and we're going to use this connector and insert it into the front of the MiG-210 LCD. Before we can install a MiG gun or a spool gun on the front of the MiG-210 LCD, we need to open up the side and loosen up the small wing bolt that's in by the wire drive assembly. Doing this will allow the sleeve to slide freely into the front of the machine. Now that our bolt is loose, let's go ahead and insert the spool gun connector into the front of the MiG-210 LCD. This should slide in very easily, and if you have to force it, you may need to loosen that wing bolt just a hair more. Go ahead and retighten that wing bolt now to ensure a secure connection to your spool gun. Now that the spool gun is connected to the front of the MiG-210 LCD, we're going to go ahead and hook up this 4-pin Anthenol connector. This connector provides signal from our trigger switch to the machine to establish the arc. Now that the spool gun is connected to the front of the machine and our Anthenol connector is hooked up, there's one more connection to make. The dongle that feeds the wire feeding unit needs to be connected to the positive terminal on the front of the MiG-210 LCD. Running the aluminum spool gun requires that you set up argon shielding gas. We're going to go ahead and connect the flow meter and gas hose to the back of the machine now. The gas hose is a ball and socket design, so it won't require any Teflon tape. Simply install the threaded connector and tighten it down with a wrench. Be sure not to over tighten. Next, we need to install some Teflon tape on the threads on our flow meter. This will ensure that the coupler we're going to install seals correctly. Be sure that none of the Teflon tape covers the orifice, otherwise a piece of material could fly through the gas line and get clogged in the solenoid valve. Install the coupler and tighten it down with a wrench. When installing the gas hose into the bottom of the coupler, you won't need any Teflon tape. This is a ball and socket design and you can simply tighten it down with a wrench. Proceed by installing the flow meter to your mixed gas or argon cylinder. Be sure that the flow meter is in the vertical position. This is important for accuracy of gas flow measurement with the ball. Go ahead and tighten the fitting down for the flow meter using a wrench. Next, we'll open our gas cylinder. We open it very slowly so as to not shock the flow meter. Be sure to open the gas cylinder all the way to the stop. There's a dual seat system and if you don't open the valve all the way, it can leak. With the machine energized, squeeze the trigger on the MIG gun. This will open the solenoid valve and start the flow of gas. We use the brass screw on the flow meter to adjust the flow rate. I'm going to set mine at 20 cubic feet per hour. Now that all of our accessories are connected to the MIG-210 LCD, let's take a walk through the menu and show you some of the adjustment options on the aluminum spool gun. Once you're in the aluminum spool gun menu, you'll be prompted to select a 40 or a 50 series filler material for your aluminum spool gun. I'm going to be running a 4043 series aluminum filler material, so I'm going to go ahead and select the 4043 selection on the screen. Next, the machine will prompt you for material thickness. If you don't know what this is, you can go ahead and set it to the maximum. But if you do know what it is, the machine will help make recommendations to your welding process that will make you more successful. Once we've gone through the menu and set our series of aluminum, we're now ready to make wire speed and voltage adjustments on the front of the machine. The great thing about the display on the MiG-210 LCD is that at a glance, it reads out all of the information regarding your electrode and welding process. The two small knobs on the right-hand side of the display will be your voltage and wire speed controls. We'll have more information on dialing in voltage and wire speed during the actual aluminum spool gun welding video, so stay tuned for that. 
With our spool gun connected to the front of the MiG-210 LCD, our ground clamp hooked up and our menu options selected, you're now ready to get started welding with the aluminum spool gun. If you haven't had the chance, take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons under this video. Enable your notifications, that way you'll be alerted when we release the latest content. Thanks again for watching, and from all of us here at Weld Pro, we can't wait to see what you build with your brand new MiG-210 LCD.